Hello. I want to give you a quick tour of my tool trailer. Uh, because I towed this with uh, uh, my minivan, it only has 3,500 pounds of towing capacity. So this is a very small trailer. It's only five by sorry six by twelve single axle. Uh, and what we do is mostly furnish customized furniture and architectural pieces. Uh, so we make mostly making the pieces here in the shop. And this trailer is to haul the materials and the workpiece on site and install. Um, so uh, to have a enough space to uh, hold the pieces is very important to us and also have all the tools on hand is also very important to us so as you can see on the left side it's mostly cabinets and tools on the right side uh, is mostly open and we can uh, put uh, whatever the workpiece we have here and the floor space here is uh, four feet wide so we can put a full sheet here if we need to uh, there's an e-track on the side and we can, this is provide enough uh, a lockdown, a tie down. And uh, so mostly the de design is based on a uh, Ron Pox design. Uh, another thing you want to know is we made this trailer mostly uh, use CNC machines. We do it extensively with CNC machines. Uh, so all the pieces are cut on CNC. It takes me about three days to, uh, from cutting to sanding to assemble. Uh, so it's pretty quick. And uh, we did uh, some modifications uh, based on our need. As, as I mentioned, the light weight is very important to me. Uh, and so this uses a very light weight plywood. Uh, as you can see, this is a fair, pretty high uh, grade uh, plywood. Uh, if you can focus here. And, um, not only that, we did a lot of uh, weight reduction. For example, um, here on the side, you can see the cabinets has a lot of cutout. That's for reduce the weight. Uh, for the drawers, um, the bottom is only three quarter instead of a half inch. Um, this is only half inch. And uh, for the dividers, we actually use one eighth of an inch instead of a quarter inch. They uh, hold out just fine. Um, so for the dividers, we cut out out the curve uh, this is for easy to get the tools and um, a little bit of weight reduction I guess and uh, uh, the other things I did which is different from the design is instead of only has the pole in the front we also ha also have the finger pole on the side which means if you want you can easily take the whole tray out uh, that's on both sides and the front and back um, so I find that's very important uh, very uh, useful right if you want to take the whole tray out on the job side, you can. Um, so the, because the tool we have, we have the table saw and the miter saw here. So it's very important to uh, have both. And the table saw, we use it on, on the stand, which is very easy to hold out. So it locks in with this passive lockdown. So you basically just push the table saw in and it's locked in there. Uh, so if you can tilt the backwards, it will free. If you want to put it backwards, so I put it back, you push it in and it's locked in there. This is very handy. Uh, so the whole idea is we want to have the table saw and the miter saw in here and um, so we actually offset the whole cabinets. So the bottom of the cabinets is pushed that way and the top of the cabinets is pushed this way. So then, then we create this cavity for the table saw which is perfect and also it creates enough room for this miter saw. And uh, the miter saw sits here not only uh, very secure with these tabs locked it down so you lift it up and you can take it away. And also it has the full motion. It can swing from left to right, almost, uh, you know, six, six degrees both sides. And uh, it's very useful. And if you unlock the handle, it has the full motion, right? So it's uh, very handy if you only want to cut one of two pieces. Uh, and so I'm pretty happy with that. And all the back, like the view tuner and the shelf, are based on this miter saw, so it's not interfere with the cut, and also utilize the most of the capacity here. Uh, for the drill bits, and the screwdriver and the small stuff, we use the magnet strip. I find that's very useful and easy to get to. And we also have some fancy hold-ons. So this one is a, a, a hand, hand plane block, uh, which is very custom made. It cradles the, uh, the hand plane very nicely. Uh, the other thing I did, we did uh, differently is uh, 
So all these pieces, maybe I can show it this way. So all these view tin up boxes, uh, they don't have a back. So we basically screwed everything down back to, to the back, you know, to the wall of the trailer. That provides the rigidity of the thing. And it, uh, not only reduce the weight, it also saves some space, right? You need, don't need a back. That also goes with this vertical shelf here. So this vertical shelf the, in the Venos needs to be uh, um, floating because we sometimes we need a very long pieces going all the way to the tip. Um, so this is floating and this is only held by a um, pocket screw on the side uh, to the back of the door. You can see that, that's the pocket screw. And uh, it's very secure and we never had an issue with it. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. So um, some amounts of feature with the trailer. Uh, so we have a solar panel on the top and we have a you know, deep cycle battery here. Uh, so, um, and inside, so this is a um, solar panel charger and we have an inverter, very small one, so enough to run a, a battery charger. And we have, a, this is our own design LED controller. Uh, so it has all the circuit boards, the code, are also all in um, developed by us. And that controls the LED strips here. Uh, so basically it has the sensors and also when it turns on, it slowly turns on. It doesn't, you know, jump, jump on um, very suddenly. And when it uh, turns off, it gradually turns off, which is very nice. Uh, so we also have an IP camera here. Um, so the trailer is parked very close to the shop, which has Wi-Fi. And the, um, so the solar panel and the 12 volt battery provide enough power for this IP camera to run overnight. Um, so these are uh, for the um, for when you're towing a trailer, you have a monitor in the front. Um, what else? So on the on the bottom of this, as I mentioned, we need uh, enough width to store uh, four feet materials. So we create this uh, toe kick area. Um, so that means uh, to save them, uh, you know, to utilize the space, we put a very long drawer on the bottom. So that one is, a, uh, I think, it's a 12 or 14 inch tall uh, box. Uh, it holds houses most of the lawn tools like the third hand and pry bar and whatnot. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's about it for the trailer. Oh, and um, for um, so two things I learned from Ron Park's design that is um, the loose uh, tie down. So basically, it's a first order of retrieval, meaning all the tools you need to see them and get them, so to get them quickly. So I really like the idea, and uh, you know the table saw I saw talk, talked about it it doesn't have any bungee cords and hold downs that I really like and you can see all the tools um, the other thing I learned is uh, you don't want uh, this organization to be too specific um, so that means like you won't want to provide those uh, cutout forms for all your tools it's just a tool every time you change a tool you have to redo the thing so what we did is uh, so I initially I tried these uh, interlocking trays uh, they're fine, but the only the problem is like they are pretty small and uh, they are pretty expensive. So what I did is uh, I let me see I 3D printed these uh, these brackets, right? So they basically locks all the quarter inch plywood together. So it's very easy. So you can uh, take it out. Show you. So yeah, so you can see this is just a you know across pieces here. It sits on any of the you know quarter inch materials, and you can lock it down uh, like that, and it doesn't really slide easily. So what I, we did is we use this one to create uh, the divider we want, and you know these are just scrap pieces. It's very very useful. Um, I can show you some of other of my drawers. So the cutting drawers. This one is just a one divider, and because you know it's uh, all in containers and whatnot. Um, Sanding and finishing, so this is the same, right? Um, so it's a longer dividers and the, with the same 3D printed uh, brackets. I can put a link in the description. You can download and uh, print yourself. Uh, demo drawers. Uh, so the other thing we did is the caulking, right? Initially I thought, you know, maybe I want to do a, a caulking a shelf or something, uh, but I find it's just a not, it looks nice, but it, it, it's just very specific. So what I did is, um, so instead of having a, all the cutouts for the, each of the tubes, I did a very shallow uh, dividers with the same brackets, and they held like the two uh, tubes separately. They are fine. They, they, they never, 
then we we'll never move and this is very nice so we have some overflow juice here uh, so I just put it on top uh, yeah that's something also I learned um, so all the uh, lockdown pieces are cut on the CNC machine which make the made the whole process very easy and you can see all the screw holes are also drilled on the CNC so they are very consistent um, and uh, yeah we have a file so if we want to do some different shelves we can uh, the other thing we uh, did improve on is the dividers uh, let me show you in the shop so I want to fine-tune the dividers um, basically sometimes I have a very small skinny uh, tool sometimes I have a wider tools uh, if you have a let's say two inch wide shelves that means you have to do two inch uh, multiple, uh, multiple of two right uh, so what I did is I did a 1.5 and 2.5 right so that give you a lot more combination so basically you have a go from 1.5 and you have 2.5 you have 1.5 plus 1.5 right um, and you have 1.5 plus 2.5 and you have 2.5 plus 2.5 so that give you a lot more um, combinations and then you can uh, utilize the space way better uh, but I think it, maybe it's easier to cut on CNC than manual cut them so this give you a better idea what I was talking about so if you have a this is a, you know let's say 1.5 this is 2.5 and you can do 1.5 plus 2.5 uh, 2 1.5 plus 1 2.5 uh, and so on and so forth so that give you a lot more uh, finer uh, divide well, so uh, the other thing I want to mention is uh, it's probably not uh, so much about the trailer but something uh, like a tips I guess so uh, we do a lot of a fine uh, trimming and that means we we can't uh, have any tilts in the back so what we did is let me just unlock this saw so what we did is we get these uh, simple jigs so what they are are basically a couple pieces glued together and uh, we tune them so they sit in these grooves very tightly All right, you can see if I can just put them in and this sits there just like that right it, it didn't move side to side so that creates a zero clearance back that's very very uh, useful because one you can easily measure like the pieces right where you want to cut the other thing is that it creates a back so it, you don't have any tear outs and if you accidentally cut into the strips so the front piece are not glued in you can easily unscrew them and uh, change them but the back is all glued together right so we have a couple pieces uh, so this one doesn't even have a you know curve in it um, but they are very easy to make and I think they're very useful the only downside I would say is uh, because this backing meaning all the um, dust will um, hit these uh, backings and uh, blow back um, so dust collection is terrible um, but for if you want to the quality of the cuts it's worth it uh, the other thing is like it's so easy to take out uh, every time you don't need to just take them out so so one last thing I want to share is these uh, hose reels uh, so you can buy from Home Depot but the one down, big downside is you have to almost like unreel all the things to, uh, to be able to use the piece so what I did is uh, very simple. So I drilled, I drilled a hole in the middle, and I put the plug through the hole. Uh, so the idea is like if you don't have to unreel the whole thing, whatever lens you need, you plug this into your outlet, and you just take this and go, and that make it very easy to uh, reel back. And also I think these cost like ten dollars a piece. Uh, I think it's the cheapest options I find uh, out there. Um, yeah that's my trailer uh, so hopefully you find something useful here and I always find the videos from other YouTube to be very useful uh, I always pick up some ideas here and there and hopefully you also pick up something here um, I, yeah I think the sharing be able to share different ideas and is what makes the YouTube community so so great and I pick up I certainly pick up a lot of ideas over the YouTube um, yeah, if you have any questions about any part of the trailer, let me know. Uh, I'll be sure to uh, check the comments and get back to you. Uh, I'll also link all the files, uh, the three printing files, uh, in the description below. Yeah, so, alright, enjoy the rest of the day. Bye.